Okay, so now that we've got some experience working with mass and how it is spatially distributed, there's one last thing I want to tell you about that characterizes distribution of mass. This is called the radius of gyration. This is very cool. Let's go back to the physical intuition of your favorite object that you're swinging about an axis. The radius of gyration says the following. If you were to take all of that mass and focus it at a single point, how far away from the axis of rotation would that point have to be in order to have the same moment of inertia as the full distributed body? Let's call that distance, that radius, R sub G. R G, I like that. Okay, the formula would be I equals the mass times that distance squared. That is M R G squared. And that gives us a formula for computing. RG in general. The radius of gyration is the square root of the moment of inertia, I, divided by the total mass, M. That is the formula. It's, it's probably worth remembering. This is a very useful quantity. Let's go back to the examples that we've done with cubes, either a solid cube of side length S or cubical shells, then if you look at the way that we express the moment of inertia, writing this out in terms of, for example, with a solid cube through a central axis, it was ms squared over six. Having that mass built in there makes it really easy to see the radius of gyration. Divide by m, then take the square root. So for a solid cube, axis through the center, the radius of gyration is s divided by square root of six. For a cubical shell, it's square root of 5 18 times s. And for a solid cube rotated about one of the side edges, then this is going to be square root of 2 thirds times s. Now, those are nice examples, examples we can do. There are lots of examples that you cannot yet do that we don't yet have the right coordinate systems for. Things like solid balls or spherical shells, cylinders, all these kinds of objects. You can look up the moment of inertia or the radius of gyration in the back of a standard physics text. Or, better still, you can learn some more math and then be able to compute these yourself.